Today, Cooper and I are going to suffer through this video as we begrudgingly play and talk about these wonderful Fender Custom Shop guitars and tell you all about the differences between certain series of Fender Custom Shops versus other vintage styles, so stay tuned. Hey, you're watching Alamo Music TV. My name is Chris McKee. And I'm Cooper Greenberg. We're here with Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, turn on notifications, like our videos. If you'd like to support the channel, visit our spring store for our custom designed swag, y'all. So, swag. Swag. Got some swag. So it's funny, uh, I joke that we begrudgingly have to play these custom shop instruments. The funny thing is, right before we start rolling, Josh looks over at us from behind the camera. He's like, hey, are y'all ready? And neither of us replied. We were just noodling on the guitars. <laughs> just, the only way to go. Just yeah, totally, yeah, you right. just totally yeah. zoned out. But that's how good these are. You know, cus Fender Custom Shop instruments are just really the pinnacle. Yeah. I mean, Fender makes some fantastic instruments, don't get me wrong. We both own like American Standard type stuff. I own a Fender Select, which they don't make anymore, but that was kind of about as high as you can go without going custom shop at the time. But these really are kind of set apart. They are a bit above the rest, wouldn't you say? Yeah, for sure. And they're radically different from one another, mm -hmm. but both very cool. Radically different from one another, which is what we would like to talk to you about in the video. So we've got a number of Fender custom shops in stock right now more on the way and I you know it's hard to tell you when we have stuff so you definitely want to check our website which is alamomusic.com I think what you're going to want to do is you're going to go, go to, to alamomusic.com alamo but you uh you want to check it out and here's why it's hard to say when we have stuff is Fender does events we uh we bid to buy guitars that are built and we buy guitars and then we order stuff uh so that was something we won on recently and this is something I ordered last year and it just came in and so that's, that's the deal. They are special, they take a while. But when you're looking at Fender Custom Shop, there's a host of different ways that you could go about having an instrument built or purchasing one that they have already made. And these two guitars really do a good job of expressing those differences. Yeah. So I'm holding a 60s. Uh, the oh, 1960. I was gonna say postmodern. <laughs> that's it's postmodern. It's like <laughs> Borges over here. Journeyman. It's a, uh, they did a postmodern years ago, which was kind of cool. I don't know what's postmodern about it. The narrative had a lot of twists and turns. It had architecture that didn't appeal to the, yeah. didn't have any basis. A lot basis of stream of consciousness. <laughs> so anyways, so this is a Journeyman 1960 Stratocaster um, in surf green. It's awesome. Like I love the way this guitar looks and feels. But this is decidedly a vintage reissue guitar that goes through the relicking process. So a lot of Fender Custom Shop instruments that you see available are like this. Yeah. They are vintage spec or vintage inspired. And the difference is something could be exactly like it was vintage or it's vintage with some tweaks. The most common ones that we see would be like compound radiuses on the fretboards and stuff like that. Yeah. And then you have a choice when you go uh, through the, the vintage models of how you want it aged. So most of what you see has some type of relicking. And this is the journeyman relicking. There's also the relic, and then the heavy relic, and then the very heavy relic. But you also have things that are- there's even no guitar. Yeah, like it's just, <laughs> eventually it's, it's just holes yeah. and a pick guard. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that, that's the one where- That's ultra relic. They just right. drag it behind my F-250. Yeah. But the, the other side you can go is where it's not relic at all. So you have the Time Machine ones, which I rarely ever see, yeah. which is effectively like a brand new guitar that you traveled back into the 60s and purchased. So you got in your DeLorean, you hit 88, you walked into a music store, and you bought a Stratocaster. It's probably um, like 26 bucks, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so you have $48. Perfect, yeah. So that's, that's the Time Machine. Rarely see them, you can't order them. The next one is the Closet Classic. Love and, them. And closet classics are cool because there's no wear on the instrument, but there is aging. And this is something that you actually see if you ever hear those stories 
uh, of Joe Bonamassa finding some instrument. He's always the guy that finds the instrument, right? That's been in the case under the bed or in he's the got closet. He's a huge closet. He, <laughs> he's still finding out what's in there. He's yeah. still finding them. But those are uh, where there's nowhere to the body. It was a well taken care of guitar, but it was effectively put away, not played. And you have aging that comes with time. So yellowed plastics. Um, some you know yellowing on the pit guard, patina on the hardware, that type of thing. Mm -hmm. So those are the uh, the least adulterated. Yeah. Then you move up to the Journeyman, uh, which is what this is, and this guitar has uh, some aging. You can see on the neck, you know where you would typically play. The finish is worn through. The hardware is patinaed. The pickups, the plastics, and everything. And there's little dings and stuff. It's this belonged to somebody. There's some checking, right? You you went into the, uh, into a warm club out of, after being in the cold, and the finish checked. Um, what you would see from someone playing a vintage instrument yeah. for years. That's why they call it the journeyman. And then you can go into relic and heavy relic, which we've reviewed on this channel before, and they they feel they feel really good. I think one of my favorite things about these yeah. is the feel of the necks and mm -hmm. the finish. I actually. So I've got, uh, I've got a custom shop Gibson. It's a VOS, uh, and it is kind of patinaed, yeah. and I prefer it. I prefer the nitro being a little flatter and not having as much sheen. I think it looks better, but I think it feels better. Yeah. I just really like it. The, the other stuff, I could take or leave, but the feel of it I really dig, and the, and the look is cool. So that's yeah. the vintage one, and what you have is decidedly the opposite. Yes, so I have the American Custom Tele. Um, Look, they're even different shapes. They're different shapes. It's the, I mean, this is, that one got relicked <laughs> into oblivion. Um, and this is pure modern, but very luxurious. This is um, obviously custom, a custom Tele. You got a humbucker up top and a, a single coil down here. This is also a hand-wound uh, Texas Special Tele pickup. This is a Seymour Duncan SH. What are we talking about? These are hand wound 60s custom shops, right? I think those are Texas, oh, Texas special. specials. Yeah, hand those wound. Are Texas specials. But they're hand wound. Hand wound. By hand. Yeah, someone's grandma's in there doing it, like making tortillas. Used to be. Actually, she yeah. retired, so it's a new grandma. But does she still do them every once in a while? What are those pickups called? The, the Josefina. Like, yes. Yeah. Is she still? I don't know. Making like one a year. I don't know. I or, or she made a bunch before she retired, yeah. and they just like release them. Whenever I see that when I'm browsing the custom shops, I'm like, that's getting close to five figures on that one. What we're right. talking about is a woman who worked in the Fender custom shop for decades, hand winding pickups, and all of that experience goes into all those pickups. Holy and Grail pickups. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, but this one, you know, it is pretty classic telly. You don't have push pulls or anything like that. It's just a normal three-way switch, humbucker, both, bridge, um, charcoal frost metallic is the finish. Very cool. Important to say we have a three-tone sunburst version of the 60. And, and a, a violin burst version violin of that burst. guitar. Um, but kind of the, the beauty also is the roasted bird's eye maple neck. Mm -hmm. Spurzel tuners. With pearloid buttons. Pearloid buttons. Um, not a belly carve, but you do have a nice little heel contour there. So I, I like it, bec and both of these have beautiful rosewood on them. Yeah, we noticed really that. Nice. So I noticed on the, on the, I said, what is that? And he said, it's rosewood. I said, it is? And then I looked at the spec sheet, and it's triple A rosewood. And you could tell it's like, it's darker, it's nicer than really, really you typically nice. would see. I love the clay dots on that one, mm -hmm. but these have the mother of pearl dots, uh, kind of matching the tuning buttons. Yep. But... I like that it's modern. It's uh, very sharp looking, pretty brand new, absolutely no relicking done, but they stuck to a formula of a, a Telecaster. It's just the best possible pickups, three-way switch. So it's it's a purist's modern telly, I think. You know? Yeah. And you know, for our Taylor rep, JR, who loves tellies, JR, this one has a humbucker in the bridge, and you don't have to get your drill out to ruin the body under the pick guard. They did this one for you. So just, just letting you know. Um, but it's not natural, so he probably wouldn't want it. It's whatever. <laughs> yeah, man, I see those videos. <laughs> so beautiful guitar, um, but that is a, it's a custom custom, Yeah. technically. So yeah. it's the custom shop, custom line. And the way Fender does it is every year they, so they have like their, their stuff you could order. You could order 
uh, certain vintage specs all the time. And then there are limited versions that they'll do that are little tweaks here and there that have special run pickups like the Josefinas or Poblano, whatever, you know, that are really hot, different things like that, that they'll do limited runs of. And then every year they do a custom run. And those custom runs have specific features to them. So in this particular case, just like the other telly, strap locks, spursal tuners, pearl, bird's eye maple, humbucking, you know, they, they do this run and it's limited in number and they're available for that year. And so what's interesting is when you get one like we did, we get the first one of this run. And then if you want this guitar after it sells, you have to order it and it's gonna be a year, year and a half at least. Some of the stuff that we ordered in the last event uh, won't be here till August, so. But I've seen the list and I know it's gonna be cool. It's cool and stuff. it's gonna be worth the wait for sure. Um, both of them come with a nice uh, Fender Custom Shop hard case. And certificate of authenticity. authenticity. Yep. This one is kind of a tan hard case with really pretty yellow lining. Yeah. This one is a jet black with black. It kind of fits with, like, I think it's a very mysterious and moody looking guitar. <laughs> this one's very vintage and colorful. Yeah. But, you know, they're both kind of the... And this, to the point I was making, by the way, this is a limited edition. So this was a limited edition last year. Uh, we didn't win the first one, so I ordered it because it was a limited run that I liked. And so when you, one of the ways you can tell is the back of the headstock. We'll have the custom shop logo, but it also says limited edition. And so that's, that's basically how, how it breaks down on the options that are available. And, and this is our endeavor to help educate you on those. But what really matters is how they feel and how they sound. And they sound pretty good. They so sound really good. <laughs> Cooper's going to put them through their paces. Listen for yourself. Pay close attention because these, this is Strat and Telly. They sound very different, but they sound fantastic. Check it out.
So there you have it. So honest opinion, Cooper. Everyone wants to know, what do you think? About, you're already a Fender guy, so try to be as objective as possible. Mm -hmm. You own a Strat and you own a Tele. What do you think about these guitars? So I'm a big fan of both. Um, I, my favorite relicking that's offered is the Journeyman. Mm -hmm. I think I, I just love how it it's looks. Subtle. I think it's really subtle, and like you, yeah, I can, uh, it's really about the finish, you know, mm -hmm. the feel of it and everything. If I could have one with no dings but all the checking, I think that'd be perfect. I just love the way the checking looks. I posted a photo of this the other day because I've been trying to get more involved with the guitar community, all right? So you might see me out there. He loves you guys. I love talking guitars. I scroll through Reddit guitar subreddits me all day too. when I'm at work. And so, uh, you know, when I'm not working. So I posted a photo of this guitar and I worded it in a way that I think made some people think that I personally had ordered this, but I was like, we've been waiting a year for it. It finally came in and people were like, man, congratulations. congratulations. <laughs> and then I started thinking, I need to, no, no, I need no, to represent sale. myself truthfully. So maybe I do need to get it. Maybe that is my guitar. Uh, and then I posted it on Instagram, and the amount of people that I like where your head's me, at. Yeah, the amount of people that said, "Dude, is that yours?" And I kept saying no, and then I was like, "Maybe you're I don't know yet." I'm just know manifesting yet. it. Yeah, I'm manifesting my ownership of that guitar. So 100% of all five customs that we've currently gotten in, we mentioned two of them. There's another one we're going to do another video on, but this is my number one right here. I freaking love this guitar. This one. I like that, I mean, I like the feel of a tele. It makes me feel good to look down, see a bound Telecaster. Yeah. Uh, it's just a good vibe to have. The neck on both of these feel really good. They're substantial necks, but they're not overly big. Yeah, you know, people get that wrong. I did it for years. I thought thinner was better. It's not. I mean, there are very specific applications where I think you need a thin neck, but um, never shy away from someone says it's got a chunky neck. It's Yeah. All of my guitars that I really love have chunky necks. It, I think it feels better in the long run. I That's do, the thing. When, yeah. you, when you're playing a really thin neck, you're going to hit it faster and easier than anything else. But if you're playing a full show or you're play, just playing on it longer term, I think it is probably just better for your hand to... I don't know the science behind it, but I think it is probably better in the long run. And I think it's more comfortable on that one. That's a 60s oval C. Mm -hmm. um, and with the combination of the aging on the neck, it's like the ideal strat neck, I yeah. think. Yeah, yeah, feels um, great. Worth it to say, this one, not that one, this one is a compound radius. Mm -hmm. 9.5 to 12, I think. Yeah, yeah, it is. And I love compound yeah. radius. My strat is a 9.5 to 14. That's pretty cool. And I just, it feels great. Yeah. And, and you don't think about it. It yeah. just, the whole thing is great and the action's low and I like it. It's like the more you don't notice mm -hmm. the neck and the, the radius kind of the idea. That's the idea. Yeah. So this one, again, for the modern player, but I mean, Or someone can't? who wants the modern aesthetics. Like yeah. usually the custom custom stuff as it varies through the year, generally it will have very beautiful tone woods. Like this yeah. is ash, uh, which, which is cool. they haven't really, they stopped using as much because of the scarcity of it. Um, and bird's eye maple, which is just beautiful. Definitely a custom, you know, appointment, a custom gnaw that you can't otherwise get. Um, and usually it's dictated by how much how much of this special tone wood's available. So. The cool thing is too, just on this specific one, you can see the grain running down and then as it hits the headstock, it's like very cool direction on yeah. the wood itself. Um, so I think this, obviously when I play a bound Telecaster, I'm like, this is like, I'm gonna become Vince Gill. I'm gonna be that guy. Uh, but with the humbucker, I kinda, as I was demoing it, I hit all the way back and then I came back to the humbucker because I think it sounds super nice, very yeah. warm. We were talking about a different guitar earlier, but I love a humbucker that's warm and thick, but not muddy. Right. It's a good example of that. Uh, but the, the hand wound Texas specials on there, it's kind of what you, everybody dreams a Strat will sound like, you know. So both great options could be for the same person. Like you don't yeah. have to be all vintage, all modern. They're both just perfect examples of what a Strat or a Tele could be, you know? I love these guitars, um, and I've got a confession to make. Um, <laughs> I'm not Dave Grohl. No, so I have a confession, and that is that one of the guitars that got away was a guitar we featured in a video, which was a Relic Tele. 
and it was under seven pounds. And I know the guy who bought it, who then sold it, and I just, I, I regret not buying that custom shop telly. Yeah. And as Fender guy yourself, I'm, I have, uh, I'm a Fender guy. I have more Fenders than anything else electric guitar wise that I own. Um, for me, that's the one thing. I, I just, you know, it's like I will sell multiple strats that I have. Yeah. To have a custom shop strat and a custom shop telly. Um, one, either one would be fantastic. Yeah. But I regret missing out on that telly. I loved it. I really do want a custom shop strat. Every single one I've, I've grabbed has felt phenomenal. And so, um, you know, from two guys who spend all day long working in a music store um, and playing guitars, these are special instruments. Yeah. And so uh, if, you, if you love strats, Th- this is this is where it's at, baby. If you love tellies, it's where it's at. You yeah. know, like this is the, these are the creme de la creme. Yeah, and keep your eyes open because we know already that there's a good handful more options for the custom shop. We know it's coming. Yeah, we know they're coming. The thing is, if you're like, man, I want a custom shop. This uh, Journeyman Strat, it's perfect for me, but I do want to wait see what else they've got. It's it's a tough balance you have to you know make because this is going to be the only one that we have of well, this. So this you know. is where shopping with a dealer like us, a music store, versus shopping on some nondescript website like Autorama or something um, comes into play because, you know, if you're looking for guidance, you're looking for help, or you want to know what's coming, there's people you talk to, yeah. right? And so you go to our website, it's alamomusic.com, stole your thunder there. But um, you can chat with someone and you can call, come in and you can call and you can say, hey, I would love to have a custom shop, Strat or Telly um, or Jazzmaster that may be coming and, and go like, what, what do you have coming? And if none of that suits your needs, we can actually help you build one, yeah. um, go through the whole process and, in, and help inform on that like yeah. we do with other things. So um, anyways, they're just great instruments. Uh, you'll have one someday. Maybe it's this someday. one. Maybe it's that one. The thing is, I got I have an idea for a custom shop instrument, and if you're from Fender, if you're listening, I want credit on this one. So I want it's gonna be in the event next year. Yeah, I hope so. So first of all, I want Fender to design a proprietary B bender system called the Fender Bender, and what I want them to do is do a, a heavy relic tuxedo Telecaster, double bound black with a, their own B bender in it and call it the Relly Telly Fender Bender. I love it. That's my ideal guitar. I'm sticking to it. So until that one comes in, we're done so. <laughs> but uh, no, these are- uh, That's so good. That would be good, right? Yeah, I like that. No, I like it. Comment below. <laughs> the Relly Telly Fender Bender. That's a perfect guitar. We're gonna start Fender. a campaign, put on t-shirts and everything. Yeah, I'm waiting. But yeah, the, in the meantime, these will do. All right, these will do. Awesome. Well, if you want more information about these instruments with price and everything, it's on our website. You're going to want to go to albummusic.com. <laughs> Check them out with our photos that we're taking of these instruments for you. Um, and again, if you want to know more about what's coming uh, and sort through what works best for you, we are here to help you accomplish that. At the end of the day, I always say the best guitar in the world is the one that you're playing. Something like this will inspire you to play a lot. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications, like our videos. And we'll see you next time.